I expected it to be so much bigger. It's a little tiny shrine. I see him. Mm. He's, he's the only. Uh, he's the only living mortal with a shrine in Napoli. Which well, is really unusual. Well, hang on a thing. He's probably the only living mortal with a shrine, with a shrine anywhere in the world, even. Yeah. Apparently, in there. There's a hair, yeah. Off his, uh, well, not a lock of hair, but a hair off his head. Yeah. And, uh, let's go and have a look. So what we've got there is a picture. Yeah. And 
the hair, but there's also a glass vial. And this purportedly contains the tears of the Neapolitans when Diego left town. He just disappeared one day. And uh, where, where caused the, a lot of consternation. Where is the vial? This, this here. Yeah. Says, he says, Lacrima Napolitani. Oh, the, the best of the Neapolitans. So, Pete, we found it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we found the great Diego's um, memorial. Well, it's not a memorial, it's a shrine. And it seems inconceivable that a living mortal has a shrine. Madness. Apparently, the um, the people wanted a street named, you know, the yeah. Diego Armando Maradona. But uh, the city rules prevent this because only people who have been dead for ten years can have a street named after them. Really? So, although he's got his own way on everything else, not on the street name, not yet. Yeah, incredible. One day what maybe. shocked me is how small it is. Have you seen pictures on the internet of it? Yeah. You think it's a big shrine? Yeah. There are a lot of wall shrines in Naples yeah. for saints and for people that have passed on. Yeah. But this is such a tiny little shrine. Yeah, it is. Let's another look. Yeah. Just, and it's been there since 1991, by the look of it. So, So that's why we missed it. Why? Right. It's just so fucking small.